In this video, I'll show you 16 powerful Premiere Pro tricks every editor should know. Before we proceed, if you want to get your video edited by me, just check the link in the description and place your order. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Premiere Pro trick number one, filter effects. Sometimes in the effect controls panel, it can be difficult to locate your keyframes, especially when multiple effects are applied. To make things easier, click on the filter icon at the bottom and select show only keyframe properties. This will display only the effects that have keyframes, helping you focus on the animations you've actually worked on. Premiere Pro trick number two, finding gaps. After finishing your edit, manually scrubbing through the timeline to find black frames or empty gaps can be time consuming. Fortunately, Premiere Pro can handle this for you. Just go to the sequence menu at the top and click on close gaps. That's it, Premiere will automatically detect and remove all the gaps in your timeline, saving you time and effort. Trick number three, search panel in Premiere Pro 2025. Check out this brand new search panel in the top right corner. Click on it and you'll see a completely redesigned panel that lets you search across your entire project. And here's the cool part. It's powered by AI, so even if your file names are messy or random, Premiere still helps you find exactly what you need. Let's give it a try. I'll search for bikes videos. See that? It's instantly scanning the whole project and showing only the relevant clips. You can double click any result to preview it in the source panel and then drag it straight into your timeline. Super smooth, super efficient, and honestly, a huge time saver when you're working on big projects. Trick number four, auto music ducking. This feature is also in 2025 version. This feature automatically lowers the background music volume whenever there's dialogue or voiceover in your video. It helps keep the focus on the speaker while still having background music that blends nicely. To use it, select your background music clip, then go to the Essential Sound panel. If you don't see it, go to Window, then Essential Sound to enable it. Now, under the Essential Sound panel, mark your music clip as Music. Then select your dialog clip and tag it as Dialog. After that, go back to your music clip, scroll down, and you'll see the ducking section. Check the box that says Duck Against Dialog and hit Generate Keyframes. Premiere will automatically create keyframes on the music track, lowering the volume where dialog is present and raising it back up when the dialogue stops. It saves so much time and gives your videos a more polished, professional sound. Premiere Pro trick number five, the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel on your mouse is more powerful than you might think. In Premiere Pro, you can actually use it to close tabs. Just hover over any tab and click the scroll wheel. That's it, the tab will close instantly. But there's more. You can also switch between open tabs by simply scrolling over them. It's quick, intuitive, and makes navigating your workspace much easier. Pretty awesome, right? Premiere Pro trick number six, switching places of clips. Normally, if you wanna swap two clips on the timeline, you'd have to move everything out of the way, then carefully drag each clip into the right position, and that can be time consuming. Instead, try this shortcut, hold down the control key, CMD on Mac, and drag the first clip onto the second one. Premiere Pro will automatically swap their positions. It's fast, simple, and saves you a lot of hassle when rearranging clips. Premiere Pro trick number seven, auto cache. If Premiere Pro suddenly starts acting weird, crashing, glitching, or slowing down, it's probably because you forgot to clear your cache. But don't worry, you can set Premiere to do it automatically every week. Just go to Edit then and Preferences click on Media Cache. Here you can set Premiere to automatically delete cache files after a certain number of days or when they reach a specific size. Since I edit daily, my cache files build up quickly, so I've set Premiere to clear them out every five to seven days. This keeps the software running smoothly and helps avoid unexpected issues. Premiere Pro trick number eight, Motion Blur. Here's a quick tip you shouldn't overlook, Motion Blur. You know how every time you use the transform effect for animation, you have to manually enable Motion Blur? Yeah, it gets annoying and wastes time. Instead, turn on Motion Blur once, then right-click the effect and choose Save as Preset. Name it something like Motion Blur. From now on, you can use that preset instead of dragging in the regular transform effect. Motion Blur will already be enabled. Trick number nine, Auto Scrolling. Scrolling through the time timeline can either help or frustrate you, it really depends on your editing style. Let me show you how to adjust it. Go to the edit menu, then preferences, and click on timeline. On the right side, you'll find the timeline playback scrolling settings. The drop down menu gives you three options. Smooth scroll. The timeline scrolls continuously as your video plays. Personally, I'm not a fan of this one. 
Page scroll, this is the default option. Premiere jumps ahead in pages while playing. No scroll, this is my favorite. It keeps the playhead in place and gives me full control over how I navigate the timeline. Choose the one that best fits your workflow. It really makes a difference. Premiere Pro trick number 10, save time with a mega bundle. Tired of creating transitions, captions, or manually color grading your videos? It can be a huge time drain, but you don't have to do it all yourself. That's why I've put together an all-in-one mega bundle, 400 plus seamless transitions across 15 unique categories, 800 plus cinematic elutes, subtitle presets, and much more. To make it even better, it's currently 50% off for limited time. Don't miss out, grab it now, and speed up your editing workflow like a pro. Premiere Pro trick number 11, displaying metadata. In the project panel, you'll notice a lot of information displayed next to your clips. But let's be honest, how much of that do you actually use? You can customize what metadata is shown by going to the project panel menu and selecting metadata display. Then expand the Premiere Pro tab and uncheck everything you don't need. Once you're done, click OK. Now you'll see only the details you care about, like frame rate and resolution. Clean, simple, and easier to navigate. Let's move on to the next trick. Premiere Pro trick number 12, expanding markers. Markers are great for adding notes directly in your timeline. To create one, make sure nothing is selected in the timeline and press M on your keyboard. To expand the marker, hold down Alt and drag it to the desired length. Now, double click the marker to open the settings and type in your note. Once you're done, click OK. And just like that, you've added a clear, visible note to your timeline. Line. Premiere Pro trick number 13, copy and paste attributes. Let's say you've applied several effects and animations to one clip and now you want to apply the exact same settings to another clip. Don't waste time copying each effect individually. Instead, simply right click on the first clip and then copy it. Then right click on the second clip and then click on past attributes. A window will pop up allowing you to choose which effects and properties you want to paste onto the second clip. Select what you need, click OK, and that's it. All your effects are now perfectly copied over. Premiere Pro trick number 14, Toggle Sync Lock. Let's talk about the Toggle Sync Lock button. What does it actually do? Here's a simple example. You have a sequence with video clips and background music. Now imagine you forgot to insert a clip somewhere in the middle. So you find the new clip in the project panel, double click it to open in the source panel, and set your in point and out point. Then you hit the insert clip button. Premiere Pro will automatically shift all clips to the right to make space, and everything stays in sync, including your music, which is great because you don't want it getting out of place. But what if you want to insert a clip without affecting the music track? Just undo the action by pressing Ctrl plus Z, then go to the track headers and disable the sync lock on the music track. Now go back to your source panel and hit the insert button again. This time, all the video shifts to the right, but the music stays exactly where it is. Simple powerful, and super useful. Premiere Pro trick number 15, adjusting shortcuts. Customizing shortcuts can make your editing workflow much faster. For example, if you often nest a group of clips, assigning a shortcut to that action can save a lot of time. To do this, go to edit, then open the keyboard shortcuts window and here type nest in the search bar. Once you find it, click in the empty shortcut box next to it and press the key you'd like to assign. Next time, instead of the long way, just select the clip you want to nest and press the shortcut key you assigned. Trick number 16, disable effects on your clip. Did you know you can disable all effects on a clip with a single button? This is especially helpful for smoother playback during editing. Here's how. In the program monitor, click on the button editor, the little plus icon. Look for the global FX mute button. This is the master effect toggle. Drag it down next to your existing buttons, then click OK. Now with one click, you can toggle all effects on or off. It's super handy when your system starts to lag, or you just want to preview your timeline without any effects. If you think this little tricks will boost your productivity, just wait. The tricks I've shared on the i button or in the video linked on my channel are going to blow your mind. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.